Well, hey, it's August 4th there, and I wanted to uh, get this out before I forgot, and people really started hounding me about it. Um, this one's the uh, Vitaly Klitschko versus Cristobal Ariola. And uh, I'm going to break down the fighters. You know, one first and the other. And then I'm going to give my prediction to uh, who I think is going to win the fight. And I'll start with uh, Ariel first, and then I'll go to Klitschko, and then I'll give my prediction. I uh, didn't do a, uh, who was that? Nick Campbell in that fight. I didn't do a prediction. I'm not really going to give a uh, round by round on it. I think they'll fight again. I think that fight should have been ruled a no contest. That was clearly a headbutt. And, you know, Campbell was like, dude, I'm not going to fight him with a big, ginormous gash on my head. And rightfully so. It was caused by a headbutt. If you disagree, that's fine. I would recommend you uh, go see the optometrist. <laughs> get, your, uh, get your eyes checked out again, because they ain't exactly seeing 2020. You know what I mean? Um, it was clearly a headbutt, and is it Bradley? Is that his? Yeah. Uh, uh. Anyway, that that cat, um, the kid's been known to headbutt people before, so you know. That's all I gotta say about that. Should be no contest. Okay, Chris Ariola, six foot four, two hundred and fifty-five pounds. Should be about two thirty. Uh, he really. Um, he looks soft on that, but uh, he's got a great knockout percentage. He's pushing almost 90%. He's 27-0 uh, with 24 knockouts, which is amazing. He's coming off of uh, wins over uh, Jimmy L. McCline. He's beat uh, Malcolm Tan. He had uh, some trouble with a, uh, well, he beat Witherspoon. Uh, had some trouble with uh, Travis Walker. In fact, he had gotten knocked down in a fight against Walker. So let's see. Let's see what about him. Um, he has a good boxer. He was a national Golden Gloves champion. Had light heavyweight. Uh, he's got good speed. Um, not very good speed. Not great speed. Just good speed. Uh, which means for the heavyweight division. Anyway, he moves. A little faster than a sloth, but not as fast as like a possum. I mean, he's, he's just not fast. He's, he's not that fast. Um, he does work the body. Um, he pushes the pace on fighters that he can. Um, that's pretty much everybody he's fought. So far, he's been able to push the pace. Um, he appears to have a really good chin because he really leaves himself open for shots. And he takes a lot of unnecessary punches. Um, he does have uh, trouble with speed. He doesn't react well with speed. Uh, uh, Travis uh, Walker showed us that. Um, he also, you know, showed us that he can be knocked down. But that also showed us he has heart and he can get back up. And he fights like hell when he gets back up, which is a good thing. Uh, he drops his left when he throws his right. He drops his right when he throws his left. Not good things to do. Um, for like two minutes and 20 seconds of the fight, he's got good defense. His hands are up here. Until he throws a punch. And he throws a left. And he throws a right. <laughs> so he's, he's always open. And he never... Uh, uh, so he holds his left low almost all the time anyway. And what I mean by... Basically, if, you, if you've noticed anything about me, when I say a fighter holds his hands low, if a fighter doesn't hold his hands here, I think that's low. Anything below here, you're holding your hands low. That's open. That right there is open for a straight right hand right over the top every time. Every time. It's open for the jab. Right over the top. Left hook. All that is open. Just that little bit. Three inches. Good. Bad. Bad. Okay, you, all right. Uh... He does, he pulls um, back with his, pulls back, um, I, I've won over these before, but when he throws his right hand, bam, 
he drops it down and pulls it back. Out, and then it comes down as he pulls it back. That leaves him wide open to get hit with that um, with the with the left hook. It's it's not a good. He's not a one punch knockout artist. He's had a lot of fights that really haven't went very long. <laughs> and people would say, well, isn't that a knockout? No. He throws a lot of good combinations, and he hits you with four or five good solid combinations at, at a time when when he's throwing when he has people hurt because he's got good power. He doesn't have that one punch. You're you're just starched. He doesn't have that, but he does have. If he hits you, <laughs> hit you with the three, then next thing you know, you know you see the guy starting to fade out a little bit. Um, uh, McCline was retired, but they offered him enough money, so he said, "I'll take the fight." Uh, Tan got crushed by Chambers, so yeah, okay. Good fighter, not a great fighter. Uh, Vitaly Klitschko, 37, 2 and 0, 36 knockouts, has, uh, I believe, the highest knockout percentage of any heavyweight of all time. You know, providing they've had over like 20 fights. Um, he's, from the time he started professional fighting at 232, he now fights around 249, 250. That's an 18 pound jump. Okay, Ariola did 18 pounds in three fights over a span of a year. He jumped 18 pounds or 17 pounds. He did this over a career. So, I mean, when you look at Vitali, all 250 is muscle. There, there's no hem hawing about it. That dude is stacked. Um, the, he knocked off some. Run. People will say this. Oh well, he hasn't fought a lot. Well, he's fought twice in, in his comeback. And in those two fights, he's fought more rounds than Ariola has in his last six fights. You go back seven fights, they fought the same amount of rounds. Vitaly did it in two fights. Ariola took him seven to do the rounds. So as far as Russ goes, I'm not worried about it. Ariola, Ariola's only fought one fight, eight rounds or more. One. Vitaly did it twice in his last two. And he, he, he stopped Peter, who had never been stopped before. He, uh, he, and he was just knocking Rust off. I don't know if you've noticed, but watch those two fights. And watch Vitaly play with these people like they shouldn't even be in the ring with them. Okay? I mean, absolutely embarrassing. And, uh... I, so he uh, knocked off the Rust by whipping Peter. He, um... He followed up by taking target practice... On Gomez, who some people actually gave Gomez a shot at beating him, which amazed me. Um, he's faster, he's meaner, and he's tougher than Ariola. And his brother Vladimir. <laughs> Maybe not faster, but he's definitely meaner and tougher. Uh, he's a fooler with that speed. He'll hold his hands dead low and dare you to come in at him. And the second you do, that left hand, when he's holding low, he's like, Pap! he fires it right up at you. Waits, second you start to throw, and it looks like you're throwing right hand. Pap! Throws that left hook right on, right over top of it. Second you drop that left hand. Pap! You know, he doesn't, he doesn't fool around. He hammers you out. Um, he's a better boxer and puncher, believe it or not, than Areola. Say what you will. Uh, he uses his height and reach very well. He's six foot eight. <laughs> he he he's, has great conditioning. His defense is deceiving because he's so fast. Um, he can time and counter you at will. And that's what he does. He has a monster chin. Um, he, got, he got points deducted in that Gomez fight and then turned around and beat the ever-loving hell out of Gomez as soon as it happened. You want to take a point away? Okay, this fight is over, and it was over in that round. Um, what do I think about this fight? I think uh, Ariola gets knocked out by the sixth round. Um, Vitaly is, you know, he's an unbelievable fighter, and people will find that out, and unfortunately so will Ariola. I think Ariola fighting Hay would have been a, a, an awesome fight. I think that fight should have happened. But Ariola stepping up and fighting Vitaly, that's that's uh, that's murder right there. Vitaly could get uh, charged with murder on this one because uh, Ariola takes too many shots and Vitaly would be more than willing to uh, give them to him. All right? Well, um, there you have it. Knockout by six. Uh, this is Big Ragu. I'm out.